The death toll from Pakistan's devastating floods continues to rise, with up to 1,500 people now thought to have been lost. Aid officials are struggling to help the 2.5 million people who have been displaced. And there's growing frustration among the survivors that the government isn't doing enough to help them. Assalamu alaikum, it's Abdus Samad here. I work for Feed the Poor, UK ISRA. The Islamic Relief Agency, we're just loading up a container of stuff, uh, foodstuffs for the flood victims in Pakistan. We've been working in Pakistan since about 1984 with different partners. Um, generally, we work with orphans and in the health care area and uh, in education. But when a crisis occurs, we do react. And this is a reaction of the local community. A sister from our local community in Birmingham has said, I'll pay for a container, a 40-foot container. And we didn't buy any of this stuff. All of this here, we've got tons and tons given by local people, one bag or one pallet or whatever they could give. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Habib Muhammad. Uh, I'm the manager of the Islamic Relief Agency, Isra UK Feed the Poor. Um, I've been the manager for the last 10 years. Uh, I've witnessed uh, the Iraqi situation, I've witnessed the earthquake situation in Pakistan, um, I've witnessed now the flood. And what I'd like to say, as the manager of Islamic Relief Agency, to the people of Birmingham, and generally to the, the UK population, is a big uh, thank you and subhanAllah, the gen generosity of the Muslims never ends. Uh, not only generosity of the Muslims, but I've had, I've had donations from non-Muslims. I've had donations from Hindus, I've had donations from Christians, I've had donations from Sikhs. I've had donations from all ethnic groups, uh, because everybody's feeling what the, Asia, what the Pakistani uh, people are feeling. We don't usually send containers of, of food, because you can buy it there and probably it's cheaper there, and you support the local economy. But here, here surrounding me, these bags of rice and these bags of flour, we've got tons and tons of it that wouldn't have moved from the UK to Pakistan unless this sister came forward and said, as a sadaqa, I'll pay the shipping of this container. And we made, a, we made it public and the public have reacted in such a way that we probably have to send two. Okay. Uh, I'm Saeed Farooq and uh, I am uh, a doctor by profession and I'm based in Peshawar. Uh, and uh, I have known uh, Isra for quite some time now and I'm going to Peshawar uh, in a few days time and I will be there to help uh, the distribution of these goods to the people who really deserve. We are already holding uh, camps in, in the um, hospitals in Nushara uh, we are helping the people on the mental health side and uh, I will assist the ISRA to deliver the goods to those people who really need them. The situation in Pakistan at the moment, as my colleagues have described, continues to be very grave. The rains continue, there are areas that continue being flooded. More than four million Pakistanis have been made homeless by nearly three weeks of floods, making the critical task of securing greater amounts of aid ever more urgent.
The death toll from Pakistan's devastating floods continues to rise, with up to 1,500 people now thought to have been lost. Aid officials are struggling to help the 2.5 million people who have been displaced. And there's growing frustration among the survivors that the government isn't doing enough to help them.